Hey everybody, it's Jim from Jim Soli is How you doing? The, the, the video has arrived, finally. Uh, thanks for standing by and being patient. And you know, um, collecting seed stalks, uh, there's, no re there's no real rush. If your seed stalks are not ready, don't um, feel as though you're behind or you're doing something wrong because mine are and or I'm separating my seeds because it all depends on where you, where you live, you know, your, your growth zone. Um, so, so don't worry about this. If your seed stalks are not ready to go, don't rush them. Let them, let them mature on your plant. And I'm going to go over real quick before we get into the super nuts of, uh, of separating the seed stalks. But um, don't rush. Let your seed stalks develop. You have plenty of time. If you're in this in the uh, growth zone like I am in New Jersey, you have plenty of time because I don't plant my seeds until. Um, I don't, pl I don't plant my seeds until January. Uh, last year, I, I planted them in December. I wanted to start planting around Christmas to go along with Jim's Holy Years but it was a little too early. I, 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 I found I really, I didn't see any benefit for me um, planting my 600 coleus plants in December. So uh, this year, I'm gonna go back to what I've been doing, and that's, that's really how I learned, and that's how everybody learns, from plants to scientists to NASA, not getting off on a tangent, but that's how we learn by our mistakes. So um, yeah, so we learn from our mistakes. So don't feel as though um, you're doing anything wrong if you're not at the same level I'm at right now. So again, next year uh, we got time. I'm gonna start my seeds in probably mid to late January. Um, so anyway, before we get to actually um, separating the seeds. I'm going to show you uh, just briefly some of my pots here, my planters uh, that are harvesting seeds and just to give you an idea of when maybe yours are, if yours are at this point. So let's go take a look. Okay, so you can see here, this is, uh, you know, this is the facts. Uh, this is really um, what I go through every year. I have these wonderful giant planters. Uh, I know what seeds I need and so forth and I just let them go I'm not trimming or pinching off anything at this point. I'm letting them go. I'm letting them go to seed And as you can see we got an abundance of seeds uh, Here's some uh, these are some defiance um, Defiant seed stalks some uh, wizard Kongs still getting um, bee pollination. These are very densely packed seed pods. Wizard Kongs, Kongs in general, are very densely packed. So these are, even though they have some flowers, um, these are starting to brown a little bit. You can see some browning. So um, you can see there's some browning going on. There's always going to be some development. There's always going to be some of the flowers so don't exclusively go by that but if you really look close you can see the little cradles they actually look full now if you open one of these up now they may look white the little seeds are white they're not mature yet but once you cut them and you let them dry out they'll be black so if you're not sure if you're really not sure let them sit on here longer be patient it's best to wait than cut them too soon but you know you'll you know your coleus I know that these have been on for a while I know that these have been here well over a month I know that these are pretty mature so we're ready to cut these and there's a uh, a wizard Kong getting pollinated okay so uh, any questions on whether or not your seeds uh, seed stalks are uh, mature you want to shoot me a picture or video um, on my Facebook page or on Instagram Jim's Holy Sicolius feel free to do that if you're not really sure but if you have a planter this size or whatever and you have an abundance of seed stalks, experiment. Take one that you think is mature. Cut it, let it dry out for a week or so. 
and then shake them see if your seeds come out we're going to get into that right now and then you'll know hey that's that one was mature so pretty much a full bet that the rest are so uh, be patient and uh, let's go get to it and we'll actually separate some seed stalks some seeds from seed stalks okay so it's real simple it's not um, like I said I was telling you it's very very simple this is gonna be a short video it's not gonna be like my usual 25 torch 25 minutes of of torturous beautiful coleus plants here's a couple left over and I just letting them sit on my patio te uh, deck this actually not to get off the beaten track but this was a coleus that fell down the seeds dropped from one of my planters in the sidewalk in a little crack in the sidewalk next to my uh, driveway and it started growing this beautiful coleus so I dug it out and potted it and look at this beautiful coleus I just couldn't let it die so there you go so anyway real simple these are household items uh, plates white I use white and we'll get to that obviously why paper plates or it's really it's a little windy out today so I'm I put this here so I don't lose anything a uh, wire mesh some say it's not a colander it's whatever wire mesh uh, great you know everyone has these if not go to the dollar store and pick one up wire mesh and of course, now I have about 10 trays of dry and coleus seed stalks. I don't need to overwhelm everybody by having a million of them here for the video. So I just picked out a couple that are actually dry. And some uh, Ziplocs. And a, um, a Sharpie. And I'll actually, here we go, we got jitters. And I have more jitters seed stalks developing so this is a so small portion of what i have and uh i just mark my ziplocs baggies and you can actually see already these are nice and dry now these have been here for about two weeks they're very brittle and you can actually see the seed stalks you can see the seeds just drop out the little little there you go did they look like poppy seeds and they'll just fall out there's really not much to it they'll just fall out but what I use this colander I'll show you in a minute just makes it a little easier to uh, put them in ziplocs okay I actually brought the uh, everything indoors because it was just a little bit too windy outside and uh, I would have loved to have the natural light it makes for a little better video but uh, this this will do fine again. This is really gonna be a short video. It's really easy. Hey, there's another tray I just grabbed and you can see these these are the Saturn. Oh, I'm sorry. These are black cherry I have an abundance of these and there's some there's a mix here. I gotta actually move these into a, a bigger uh, tray So uh, this is just the guide you could use whatever I use the Chinese food containers and it all depends on you know if you're a homeowner and you just want to um, you know a few a hundred or so seeds you can get some I mean, this is a lot of seeds right here um, But you can actually see I actually brought this out because you can see Where you know again if you're a homeowner you don't you may not even need this cow the strainer I, I use it because I separate a lot of seeds, but you know if you are just a homeowner and you want to just pick just grab yourself some seeds just let them dry out and you can see that they're just just naturally these are dry already they're naturally just falling out on their own look at all those seeds those are all your seeds they look like poppy seeds those are your coleus seeds so you don't have to kill yourself if you don't want to use the strainer you don't necessarily have to go through the the separating the physical separating uh, if you're just a homeowner again and you just want some seeds for yourself just separate just when you put them in the Ziploc bag, some of the cradling, the organic matter, you can see some of it fell off. Try to get as much of that out. Uh, separate your seeds. So that's why I like to use the strainer because I, I get rid of a lot of the organic matter because you don't want to. You don't want any of the organic matter, the the cradling or the leaves or anything, in the Ziploc bag because then they might get moldy. I try to just keep seeds in the Ziplocs. So anyway. Uh, there you go. There's there's your coleus seeds right there, and that's why I like to use these 
Chinese food, Tupperware. It, it really is up to you. Um, but here we go. We just marked what kind of coleus they are, and here we are. Those are your black cherry coleus seeds. Okay, so um, all right, so I have I just add uh, seed stalks every every day or two that I see. So you can see these are green. These are I just picked. These they're not ready to go. They need to be uh, dried out. But you can see down here. That's another one that's a few days old. But you can see these are pretty brown. You can see there's a green one and the brown. So those are dried out. They're ready to go. And you know what? Some of these. When they're so brown, if you shake them, you can actually hear the seeds. If you put them by your ear, you can actually hear the seeds shake in the little pods. When you get these, uh, these some of these seed stalks, like the Kongs, that are their abundance of seeds, once they're really dried, again, you can actually hear the seeds shake in the little pods, and they just fall out. So you don't necessarily, like I said, you don't need this, you don't need the strainer if you don't want. Uh, but I use it. So anyway, you can see we got lots of seeds here, so we'll just put some down here on the plate. And you can see all the organic matter. Okay, so here we are. We have our seed stalk. And you can do it a number of ways. You can just shake it and you'll see the seeds fall out. Or you can gently crumble the cradles and you have a bunch of the seeds in here. Just gently work it with your finger And then what I normally do is I'll take the colander and I'll put the seed stalk in there and the boom, you can hear it. You can hear the seeds and you can see all that organic matter. Now I got so many seed stalks. There's going to be some seeds left in here, but I have so many seed stalks that I don't really mind if I miss a few in there, but look. How effort, it just, you can hear them fall. Now there's a little bit of organic matter in there, but it's not enough that it's already dry. And that's important when you're talking about storing your seeds in, in Ziplocs. Now you can use Tupperware containers. I use Ziploc bags, it's the system I use. Same thing with the plates and so forth. If you have another system that you like better, then, then go for it. This is just a guide, this is how I do it. But there you go, there's your seeds. But just make sure you do them one at a time. Don't get them mixed up, unless it doesn't matter to you. I, I separate them because I, I keep them for myself, obviously. So in January, when I plant I plant my coleus, I know, I, all right, I wanna, I wanna grow 150 or 200 Kongs. I wanna grow 150 Rose Kongs. I wanna grow 150 Wizard Kongs. I wanna grow 200 defiance or jitters and so forth so i organize in that way and i also sell my coleus seeds so if you're interested in buying coleus seeds from me uh, i do sell them i generally charge you about ten dollars i take paypal just shoot me a text or whatever and I'll, I'll let you know how um we can get you some seeds so but there you go it's very very simple effortless and that's um that's a lot of seeds that's about as many seeds as you're going to get from your, bur your burpee store bought seed mix. But the beautiful thing about this, I mean, yeah, we can all go to the store. We can all go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or what have you, and buy seeds. But they're generally a mixture of wizard seeds uh, or rainbow. You got rainbow or wizard. Rainbow or your colored seeds or, or your colored coleus, kongs, and so forth with the bright pinks and reds and so forth. Um, wizard coleus are generally the darker ones, the reds, the burgundies, maybe with a little green edges and so forth. So that's the difference there. But what's nice about this, making your own seeds, is you get to see, you get to grow what you want. 
So very, very simple. Okay, so let's do that again. And again, cut your seed stalks as I showed. Store them wherever you want. Just make sure you store them um, indoors. Air them out. Don't enclose them. Air them out. Keep them away from pets or whatever. Separate them. You don't want to cross-contaminate your coleus seeds either. Unless you don't care. I mean, if you don't care and you just want to mix your seeds, then fine. Mix them together. You can mix your stalks together. But here, just... Uh, Basically, that's it. We're going to just crumble them a little bit gently. You want to, you know, get as little amount of organic matter as, as possible just to make it easier on yourself. And I just kind of like play with them a little bit. And you can actually see the seed stalks falling out. This The seeds, I'm sorry. You can actually see the seeds coming out of the little pods. And that's why it's important to let the seed stalks dry completely. The more br the brittle, the, the longer you let them dry out. So don't rush, don't be in a rush. Let them dry out completely. Two weeks is definite, you'll know, you'll know. Uh, let them completely dry out because the more, the, the more, the drier they are, the more brittle they are, the more easily the seeds will fall out from the pods. And then just, again, Let's get this close here so we can see. Boom. Just shake it like that. And that's that. Nice and easy. Real simple. And you got tons and tons of seeds. Now, this is the next step I like. This is another reason why I use the paper plates. Now, when you go to the dollar store, you can buy two types of paper plates. You can buy your cheapo, plain, uncoated paper plates, and then you have the, the upgraded ones, the paper plates that have like a glossy coating. Get the cheapo ones. Get the uncoated because, as you can see, a lot of the, the organic matter, some of the, the rough organic pieces get stuck on the plate but the seeds roll and that's how I get them into the ziplock okay so here we are we have the paper plate remember uncoated paper plates look at those seeds you see they're just rolling around real easy gently fold your plate and you have your ziplock baggie mark your ziplock baggie let's see here mark it what type of coleus it is and you put the date. Coleus seeds generally will last you five years, but I grow so many, I have so many seeds, I don't usually use them, I don't usually, I sell them and so forth, I'll let them stick around for two years and I throw them out because I just get so many, so many. So you got your Ziploc bag and I just shake it gently. I gently shake the seeds into the bag. Again, there's so many. And then the organic matter, and there may be a few seeds left over in the end. You can see them fall out there. I'll do that. And then gently pop them in. And then that's it. And then you can see there's some organic matter left over on the plate. And here we are. We have a bag filled with colia seeds. So here we are. You can see there's very, very little organic matter in there. You don't, you don't have to worry about mold growing because that's another reason why you want to make sure your seed stalks are completely dried out because all that moisture, anything organic, the moisture is dried and gone. So you don't have to worry about it. But there's very, very little organic matter in there. You got all your seeds ready to go for next year. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, me and Newton, this is my buddy Newton. He's 13, right? Yes, he, my my little you know, you're, I have another one also. So me and Newton want to wish everybody a happy uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'll keep in touch. I'm gonna do again some. I'll probably do another video on taking care of rootings. So, uh, 
you look through my videos, I do have other videos on taking care of broodings, uh, but stay tuned. And I, I want to thank everybody for following along this growing season. And um, take care, everybody. Have a great weekend. And thanks for watching Jim's Holiest of Coleus. And we'll phase out here with this beautiful Lord Voltimore Coleus that we're going to overwinter. So, all right, everybody, take care. Say goodbye, Newton. Bye, everybody. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, everyone.